Hello, this is Dazzling One, and I'd first like to start off by thanking Truth Media Revolution for sharing part of my video from last week on his channel, and thank you everyone who subscribed, and I hope that you enjoy the rest of the videos on this channel. Something that I wanted to mention a while back but didn't was the rise of artificial intelligence and stories like the first baby born with three people's DNA. Now, I'm all for modern medicine and advancements, but how far will we take this? And there really is nothing new under the sun. This happened in the days of Noah. You had fallen angels tampering with humans' DNA, and we have the same thing happening again. Yeshua, or Jesus, said in Matthew 24 that it would be as the days of Noah, and here we are again. Something else that I find interesting about the rise of robots in general is that these robots won't just perform simple tasks, but we have robots being designed to be sexual companions. And I was watching one of Jason A's latest videos where they mention how we as humans are becoming less emotional while these robots are developing emotions, and I never thought too much about it, but it really is the case. We have more apathetic people in the West than ever, and we don't really communicate with each other the way we used to. Rather than calling someone on the phone or talking face to face, we do it through email, through text message. We never meet in person. Of course, for introverted people or antisocial people, that's more preferable, but we're having a whole culture of more or less asocial people who prefer to talk through messages online, through emails. And I mean, if we're living at a distance, then I understand, but if we're in the same town, we go to the same school, we work at the same job, then I feel like there should be more face-to-face -face interaction, but there isn't, and that's something that really has plagued our culture, and with these robots, I think that a lot of it reminds us of the Terminator of iRobot, where the robot rises up and ends up taking over the world. They want world domination, and I was watching some of the videos with these robots, being spoken to by their creators, and a few of them made jokes about how they didn't like humans, or one said that he would put them in, in the human zoo, and I was like, human zoo? And I know some people think that's just funny, but what if these robots really did develop a mind of their own and take over? I mean, transhumanism is the next frontier in evolution, if you'd like to look at it that way, and we're definitely moving more towards a society like that, and again, with eugenics, the problematic thing is it's based in this ideal of good genes and bad genes and superiority and inferiority and those who are designed like designer babies who have all the preferable traits will be at the top of the pyramid while those who can't afford to make such advancements will be at the bottom and this will cut short the life of the undesirables which is what the elite want and something else interesting about all of this is that a lot of these robots eventually would be able to take regular people's jobs just like when you go into a Walmart, for example, and you have the self-checkout, which is quicker than going through a cash register with the cashier, but imagine if every job suddenly got taken over by a robot, because robots could do anyone's job. They could start even doing procedures for surgery. I mean, some robots perform surgeries already, so it's just amazing how in another 20 years, who knows what the future will look like. I'm not trying to say that it's going to be Armageddon, but I do think that these robots are being designed more for militaristic purposes, but they're marketing it to us as, oh, this is going to be a friendly robot that does a friendly job. So I'd like to know what you guys think about these advancements in science. Do you think they're harmless? Do you think this is another precursor to something ominous? Let me know what you think, and I'll talk to you next week. Take care, and Yahweh bless you.